It's never straightforward going out with Roy. Today we're supposed to be going after squirrels before the leaves make the draves and possible runners difficult to see. Roy and his friend Jim are armed to the teeth with air rifles, full bore rifles and shotguns. And you can never be um, overdone, can you? So we've got uh, some air rifles this morning, we've got shotguns and we've got a rifle as well. So, I mean, we've been asked to come down and um, control the squirrels. It's our yearly squirrel bashing. So uh, we have to try and keep the numbers down here because obviously they do uh, a lot of damage. Um, one to the woodland and um, also to the, uh, the nesting birds as well. So uh, we just need to remove quite a few of those. But we thought while we're, while we're down here, um, and uh, as we were getting up at some ungodly hour, we'd try and make the most of it and uh, see what else we could account for. Before the grey, we're after reds. Don't panic, we're talking foxes. Um, the shepherd's been saying there's only a couple of foxes coming in and the, uh, the lambs are due out, so we're going to go and tuck up down there. What I want you to do, I'm going to be facing out this way. I want you to look back up the bank because one might come along from a stand of prior further up. So if you're ready as they come along there. For some reason, a herd of deer are scooting around us. But they don't stay still enough for a shot. I don't know what happened there. I'm guessing that um, a dog walker had come in along the top and the dog had probably chased them and spooked them. Spook them. Roy repositions just in case they cross the bottom of the valley. Again, they're not stopping for anyone, especially Roy. You know what? Well, go into position, but they weren't going to stop, were they? A couple of young bucks in there. Yeah, I mean, they were definitely spooked, so I'm not quite sure what, what's been going on out there, but something's come through and disturbed everything in there. Now we've probably ruined the foxing, but we should never deviate from the plan. Back to plan A and foxing, but for a change, the call doesn't get a response. Roy wants to head to the other side of the estate for another squeak before the dog walkers really start getting the wildlife on edge. This time it's the air rifle out of the slip, but it's the pigeon giving Roy the slip. Eventually he stays still long enough for a shot. Finally there's something for our efforts. Now in Woodland the shotguns make an appearance. We see at least half a dozen drays as we stalk through it. Now we've got to, got to get on with the main job that we came here for this morning which is uh, having a go at the squirrels. So. Um, it's a shame actually because the, we were going to try and do quite a few with the air rifle before we started off with the shotguns. Um, but as we were stalking through the wood this morning you could see that the squirrels were just up and away. Um, you know they're just, they're again very very jumpy this morning so uh, we're just going to go and, uh, and do some dray bashing and uh, see how we go. You can do it one of two ways, you can either have a, um, a poking, a dray poking pole um, which uh, you know if you're flushing um, squirrels for birds I mean you know, you can fly female red tails and, you know, some people fly harris hawks and things on them if you're, you're poking them out like that. Um, and it, it can provide really good sport, but you, you do have to be incredibly careful if you are flying squirrels with a bird of prey because they, they do bite quite badly. So, um, this morning though, we've, we've not bought the dray pokers with us. All we're going to do is put a shot through the dray that either kills the squirrels in the dray um, or at least flushes them. Um, and then when they when they start flushing and running around the Nobody trees, then we'll, uh, we'll pick them off. So, as I say, this is this is just purely a, uh, a pest control um, operation this morning. We've just got to try and get the numbers down before uh, the leaf gets up on the trees. No, nobody home. Nobody home. Nobody home in that one. That looked quite promising though, didn't it? That was a nice fresh one. Roy allows Jim to have the first shot and he is there to deal with any runners. Not all drays have anyone at home, but for some, there's a rude awakening. Jim is pretty tentative picking up the squirrels, much to the amusement of Roy. I can't believe you've been manned out by David. I didn't see it, David found it. 
What? Why are you holding it like that? Honestly, it's a, it's dead. It's not going to hurt you, mate. Honestly, look. See, the squirrel won't hurt you. Yeah, lovely. But with these rodents, once bitten, Trust twice me, and thrice shy, and he has the scar to prove it. You traumatised by that? Must have hurt a lot. You've no idea. And next time he says the squirrel won't hurt you, I'll wince in pain because I know he will. If I watch it. The other thing to remember um, when you're doing this sort of work is that obviously if we left it any later then the birds would be nesting um, and the, there's a chance that you know you could mistake a dray for a um, for a nest up in one of the trees or something like that so really you want to do it before any of the birds have started laying um, and uh, and just run through so uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're sort of pushing it now um, and uh, another another few weeks and you really wouldn't want to bother doing it the most Roy has had out of the wood is 15. So for a short morning, we haven't done too badly, especially as Jim still has all his fingers.